Guys, building your credit with credit cards can be a slippery slope. But without a good credit score, how can you buy a car or rent an apartment? With credit card debt at an all-time high, leveraging credit cards to build your credit profile is outdated and just doesn't work for everyone. That's where our friends and show sponsor Extra come in. Extra is a debit card that helps you build credit in much the same way as a credit card would. Extra's debit card connects you with your bank account so that with each purchase you make, you're able to leverage your spend power to build credit and earn points in making transactions without the worry of going into debt. The best part is there are no credit checks to enroll in and no interest rates or hidden fees. I use my extra card for grocery shopping and going out to eat for my purchases and simultaneously I build my credit. My choice, it's that easy. To sign up for Extra, just click on the link below and start building your credit with a debit card. Yes, a debit card. It's that simple. Coach Kavanaugh had done an interview. Famous coach of straight blast gen, Connor's coach amongst many others. In the course of the interview, Coach Kavanaugh said that he doesn't believe that people of Max Holloway and of Connor McGregor's level should cut weight anymore. They should just go way in and fight one another. He might have been more specific. I like the catch weight idea, guys. And there's a, there's a few ideas that I have, much like you. I would not take them to Dana. Like, if I had a great idea and I called Dana and I told him this, the next time I call Dana, he won't take my call. Like, he, there's stuff that he is not going to like. That's one of them. We're not going to get this way. And I think Coach Kavanaugh is well aware of that. But let's look at Coach Kavanaugh's point. Because sometimes it's okay to have some fun. One of the most fun, to use that word specifically, one of the most fun nights in the history of the sport was the BMF title. That's not just my opinion. The stars came out. They sold out Madison Square Garden. They swung the needle every which direction. It was fun. It was unique. It didn't make the world's most sense. It doesn't have to. That's what fun is about. You do everything by the book and everything's got to be interesting. Everything's got to be meaningful. Sometimes you have fun. That's something different. That's what I'm referring to here. And I like Coach Kavanaugh's point. Now, I believe the statement being made by Coach Kavanaugh, whether he meant it to this beer way or not, is that Max can no longer be champion. My interpretation of what he's saying, my interpretation of these huge names that have already climbed the mountain, they're not going to get back to the view we peak, but they are going to matter and they are going to compete and they should go find one another. My interpretation, not his words, but I think that's what he's saying. I'm not ready to co-sign that for Max yet. I thought Max beat Volkanovsky. My own opinion, we don't have to relive that. But I also believe that Max is better now than the night that he lost to Volkanovsky. My only point being, before we put Max in the category of guys that are meaningful, that have been to the top, that are now in here to go out there and do big things, but they're fun. As opposed to important and meaningful and captivating, I think Max gets one more shot. Let's set that aside and not be too serious with the comment because I do like it. I don't think either Diaz boy should be doing anything by the book because they don't have to. I don't think George Masvidal should. I, I fully understand why Conor McGregor won it. And there's more that are going to join that club. They're not there yet. There's some guys that want to go out and just have some fun. Colby Covington is as meaningful of a contender as the sport has in any division. But he knows that he's not going to get right in there with Usman. Instead of going the path and taking the next contender and he's going to knock him down, he's, going to, he's looking to go and do something fun. I mean, he's suggesting Masvidal and a former teammate. He's suggesting the ultimate fighter. He's trying to have a little bit of fun in the sport. I support that idea. I think that that is Coach Kavanaugh's overarching theme. I have no problem with the catchweight. I have none whatsoever, particularly for guys who are no longer going to be a contender within their division. You get some of these veterans whose best days are behind them. I want to pick my words because I'm not ready to say that about Connor or Max, and I'm not attempting to say that. I'm attempting to talk about, I don't give a goddamn what they weigh. Do you? What's the difference? You've both been 45-pounders. You've both been 55-pounders. Close enough, right? I mean, do you agree with me? The only time I find myself talking about weight class, by the way, is it heavyweight? And, I, and nobody else talks about it. I bring it up to try to prove a point. When you have Francis Ngannou, who's 260 pounds of steel, and you put him in there with Stipe Miocic, who's 230 pounds, 
there is 30 pounds the right way disadvantage to Stipe, something that nobody else has ever done and nobody else has even been asked to do. And then when Stipe falls down, everybody act like Stipe is done and Francis should have won. I think that's fair for me to bring that point. Brock Lesnar does not enjoy my company. I've been around Brock and he's been a gentleman, but I can tell he'd rather be anywhere else but me. But one point that I make about Brock, it's not meant to slide him. Brock was not a very good wrestler. That's true. Brock never had Olympic aspirations and he never should have. He would have been wasting his time. Brock was the NCAA champion after an undefeated season. So how could I possibly say that? Well, pretty easily. Brock was 265 pounds of steel. In the NCAA finals, he took on Wes Han, who weighed 220 pounds. There is a 45-pound weight discrepancy. Anybody else in the tournament, not just the champions, anybody else in, this, in the tournament, if they would have had 45 pounds on an opponent, they would have whipped his ass. It would not have gone the distance. Brock went into double overtime before he could get the jump on a guy that he had 45 pounds of clomiphene on. I mean, in all it's a fair point by me. And it irritates Brock, but I'm right. Of course, I'm not going to apologize for that. I'm right when I say it about Francis. I'm right with a lot of those very big guys where you have a gap of 205 to 265. They fall anywhere in between, and we all throw our hands up and go, well, close enough. Fair enough. It's close enough. I understand that. But there is an exception made. You don't have a true battle of skill. You don't have a true battle of scramble, of wrestling, of striking. You have a massive power. And I bring that to you foreshadowing. Because as we get a little bit closer to Engano versus Gone, as we start to do the breakdowns and we start to really look at the X's and O's of these guys, I think you are going to conclude that Surreal Gone is a better fighter, that he's more dynamic, that his combinations are a little bit more clever, his setups, his entries, his exits are a little bit faster. I also feel you're going to conclude that Francis Ngannou will knock his ass out. Size matters at some point. But I got to go all the way up to the, the heavyweight class where there's a difference per the commissions of 60 pounds, a possible 60 pounds. You don't have that anywhere else. And I do think what Coach Kavanaugh is talking about, grab you and grab you and off you go. So Mission Underground, we weigh the guys in. We do it purely for marketing reasons. Every weight by contract is open weight. You can weigh 300 and he can weigh 500. It's you versus you. Got it, got it. Shake hands and go. We've never had one single complaint. Not one. Not one. It's just how grappling's done. Be my game versus your game. And I'm going to have to adjust my game if you're bigger than me, if you're taller than me, if you're shorter than me, if you're lighter than me. It's a huge problem in grappling to take on a lighter guy. It is the opposite of boxing. A smaller guy in a grappling atmosphere is your, your nightmare. It's a nightmare. The world of wrestling will tell you the hardest guy to wrestle is one weight class below you. It is not a size advantage. It is a size disadvantage. I only bring this to you as I regress because I do like what Coach Kavanaugh said. I don't care what guys weigh. And I'm tired of being so serious all the time. Let's have a little bit of fun. Connor's going to bring the circus. He's going to bring the attractions. Let's get him an opponent that could meet him halfway. So far, no opponent ever has. Connor's had to grab that thing and run with it from soup to nuts, get somebody in there that could help him a little bit that he wants to fight. You got you, you two guys want to fight? For me, that's what I want to see. So if we have certain guys like that, which I believe Kavanaugh's point, I'm putting words in his mouth, which isn't right, but I believe his point is some guys are not just about contenders matches, but they're still main event fighters. So what do you do with them? You put a guy who should be in a main event, you put him opening the car because he doesn't have contenders hopes? Because some new and younger guys come in? It's what our sport calls for right now. But does it have to? And it's not for Coach Kavanaugh. It's not for Chael to decide. You have the power. You decide. Do you like the idea? Connor versus Max. Forget the weight class. Unified rules. What do you say?